What's up everybody? Welcome back for another show and tell and today we have this brand new smock smoke fit kit. It's not their first pod device. It looks like one of those super super basic pod systems. I'm pretty stoked to try it because I've been totally into pod systems recently. Um, especially with you know vaping in public and find it to be easier to carry around a little bit more low-key I'm excited we're gonna jump right into it Get a quick tour around the box not much going on apparently that'll be what it looks like so let's take a look Boom, there we go all right there she is feels like aluminum Nice and light, anodized. And this I like. I like seeing extra pods in the kit. I dig that. All right, so we got these pods. Let's see what else is in here. Should be a little fill bottle. Here is the fill bottle that you're probably gonna need to use to fill these pods. This is probably the most annoying thing about these particular type of pod systems. Um, I don't wanna have to use this. That's inconvenient, to say the least. Devices like this Ego Eco Pen or even the Rolo Badge, they have huge openings where you don't need to use something like this. But it is what it is. We're going to play with it and test it out today. And of course, we got our standard micro USB cable and your manual and some more of that. Okay, so we'll get all of this out of the way. Let's take a quick tour of the mod. So it looks like to be a draw activated device, which I'm totally cool with as long as they work. And uh, looks like there's an LED light indicator there and your micro USB port there for charging your device. Um, and that's about it. Simple as it gets. No buttons, no nothing. So let's take a look at the pod here. I'm trying to take a look. In, in this, this area right here, it's a little bit more clear. And we're trying to look in there. And just from taking a look, I'm pretty sure that they're using cotton in these pods, which is... A huge plus for me. Uh, I don't like the pods that use silica. They just don't wick as well. That's, that's simple as that. All right, if we could take a close look here on the side, here is where we fill the pod. The cool thing about the fill port being here is that you don't actually have to remove your pod from your battery to fill it. At first I, I was questioning it, but yeah, you can actually see in here while you're filling it. So that's cool. That's something I don't think I've seen yet. So I like that. So here's where it becomes kind of a pain. I mean, I have like a little bit of nails, so that's not working. I'm gonna have to grab my little tweezer. Here's the moment of truth. What does this fill port look like? And that is surprisingly big. I'm pleasantly surprised to see this. I am not going to use this thing. We'll grab our Salt Bay Red Mango. This stuff is really good. I'll be vaping a 25 today so let's just hold this little flap open like this I'll do my best to get this on camera okay so here we go that fits in that hole real nice I am real happy with that so I'm not gonna be able to do it all on camera because I need to tilt this pod got a little bit overzealous there so that's gonna be a little bit messy and we just Pop that down and give the old shirt wipe. Okay. So we are all closed up. Now with pod systems like this, you're gonna definitely wanna let it sit for, uh, I don't know, I mean to be safe five minutes because there's, there's no way for you to prime the coils directly. So you just need to give it a little bit of time for the cotton to soak up. And I guess in the meantime, let me grab the manual I threw on the floor. All right. Let's give you a few specs, shall we? Yep, so you get the fit device, you get two of these pods, and they each hold two mils of juice. That's about standard with these pod systems, I would say. And uh, yeah, I was right, it's made of aluminum alloy and uh, dimensions. You wanna get technical? 18.4 by eight by 107.5 millimeters. But I have a couple of my favorite devices. One of them also happens to be made by Smock, but that's this Rolo badge. So I'll just kind of hold it up against the Rolo badge here for you so you can take a look. I'll pop this on so you can get the full effect. All right. So obviously one of the reasons I love this Rolo badge, it's so tiny. And another one of my favorites is this Ego Eco Pen by Joytech. We did a video on this one as well as the Rolo, but um, 
This is another one of my favorites. It's not draw activated, it's button activated. But, you know, I'm, I'm used to hitting the firing button. I kind of like that. The only thing is it's not as pocket friendly because you have to give it the five clicks to turn it off. Make sure it's not firing your pocket. Whereas something like this or the Rolo badge or anything else that's draw activated, you don't have to really worry about that at all. So if I'm just going to put them side by side, I'll give you that for a little comparison. Okay. Anything else we should know? It's got a 250 milliamp hour battery and eight second protection. So you can only suck on that thing for eight seconds at a time. Okay, and when the battery's low, it'll flash like a million times and not fire anymore. And that's about it. I think I'm ready to, to vape on this thing. Here we go. That's pretty nice. Mm, I'm pretty surprised on how well this is vaping. Uh, I'm still up in the air on how I feel, if I like draw activated or button activated better. Leave a comment down below and let me know which you prefer. I feel like I've, I'm, I've been so used to the button, you know, that I just prefer it. Also early on, the draw activation in a lot of these pods, uh, when they first started coming out, uh, didn't always work right. There'd be a little delay or something like that, but yeah, this is uh, this is vaping really well, and I think the cotton's gonna take a little bit of time to break in, because I didn't get the full flavor of that red mango right off the bat, but I'm confident that it will. Let's keep on going here. We see some bubbles. Okay, we see some bubbles. So it's wicking. It's wicking. I don't know how crazy I can get with it. Why don't we, uh, why don't I let this sit for just a second? I'm gonna take a puff off this Rollo badge and see if I can give you a little airflow comparison here. The fit has more airflow. Yeah. And I like it. I like it. I, like it. I can get the mouth to lung draw, no problem. Real comfortable. Let's go for lung hit and see how that goes. Well, that was a lung hit. I'm not gonna take like a eight second lung hit. But no, you can lung hit it, which is nice. Which is nice. It's comfortable. Now I think the Eco still has a little bit more airflow. Let me try that out. The Eco still has a little bit more airflow. At this point in my vaping life, it's not my favorite shape and style, but whatever. Vape's good. That's all that matters. So uh, since we got two pods, and this pod is full still. Let's see what it's like filling the pod when it's still on the, uh, well, it's on the mod, right? I should have done that to begin with, but whatever. We'll pop this guy open here again. And I'm just gonna keep my eye on there. Sorry, you're not gonna be able to see any of this, but uh, boom. That was pretty easy. That was <laughs> that was super easy. That's a big selling point to me, actually, is how easy it is to fill. I thought it was gonna have this horrible tiny fill part, which it doesn't. Plus number one, it uses cotton wick, plus number two, and you can fill the pod without taking off of your battery. So that is definitely boom, number three. Is there anything I don't like about this thing? 250 milliamp hour battery. I'd like to take this apart and see how much space there actually is in there because this, this it's kind of big, I think, for a 250 milliamp hour battery, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm just starting to get really into these pod systems. So you guys out there who have been vaping these pod systems for a long time, let us know which one you like best and why, because I actually am interested to know. It's all device. I'll leave a link down in the description below for the Fit product page. There's nothing in stock yet, but there is a button at the bottom that you can click to enter your email address 
so we can notify you as soon as they are available. These are gonna come in three different colors, blue, red, and gunmetal, so that'll be pretty cool. I'm probably more of a gunmetal, obviously. I wear this gray hat like every day, but um, yeah, this thing surprised me, and that's good. I'm about it. So what else can I tell you? I mean, the only thing I think of that happens on these types of devices are dry hits. Um, with the cotton, I don't think I'm gonna have that problem, but I'll chain vape it a little bit and see if we can't get a dry hit. be feeling that nick pretty soon but wicking really well wicking really well I, I don't think there's too much more to say about it i mean the device is simple there's no buttons nothing you just fill it and then wait wait a few minutes let the cotton soak up and then vape it that's it and then when the battery's low you plug it in and you charge it i that's it if you think we missed something or you have a question just ask down below and uh and we'll answer it so yeah I give it my seal of approval. And that'll wrap it up for today's show and tell. If you made it this far, you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. It helps us so much and it takes you about two seconds. So thank you for joining us and we will see you next time. Peace.